Hey there, welcome to Joe JavaScript's machine learning tutorials. Click on that link at rockseta.com and it'll take you to the main page at the moment. I've got seven tutorials there. It's all beginner JavaScript with deeplearnjs.org and uh, we're going to be going through uh, getting us starting on deep learning, uh, machine learning, artificial intelligence. So I just want to explain, uh, I've done some TensorFlow, some Python, um, uh, a bunch of beginner um, machine learning and you always run someone's example but th then you're stuck. Then you have no idea what to do. Uh, in IPython notebooks, they're awesome, they're great, you learn a bunch, but then what the heck do you do? Whereas with deeplearnjs.org, you are doing JavaScript. And an example, if I click on that, go to this page, uh, here's a deep learning quadratic uh, equation solver. And this is straight from the DeepLearn.js uh, site. But because it's JavaScript, I can start looking at those variables, changing at the batch rate, the learning rate, the actual line, uh, what we're trying to solve for. Say I want to solve for 9. And, and now it's something I can work with. Now there's my output for 9. It came to 274, uh, quadratic equation solving. This is really exciting stuff. It's going to get better and better. It may take a couple of years to get perfect. But uh, I hope you really enjoy these tutorials. Hopefully lots more tutorials coming. And a special shout out to www.dog.com for the support on my Kickstarter. After our credits, there'll be a bunch of other names for who gave support made this uh, tutorial come alive. Thank you. Machine learning as easy as possible in the web browser. Let's look at some JavaScript examples I've made or copied. Find my GitHub site by searching for deeplearnjs-javascript-examples. My GitHub username is hpssjellis. Or just go to rockseta.com and look for the link Joe JavaScript's Machine Learning Tutorials. Many GitHub sites have a website connected with them, the link being at the top of the page. All these tutorials are about DeepLearn.js, for which the main DeepLearn.js site is with the Google Pair Program. Here is their GitHub and its supported web page at http colon slash slash deeplearnjs.org. My web page presently has seven supported examples, but more hopefully will be added in the future. DeepLearn.js has really good machine learning examples that work directly in the browser, but DeepLearn.js is all in TypeScript, which is awesome for experts with variable type protection for the code, but has an extra level of complexity that's really difficult for beginners to learn. I will just work in JavaScript and your browser. At my page, most of the examples are in this button format to run the code and a yellow text area that shows the code. This code is about as simple as I can get it for teaching machine learning. The button runs the code and I hope you have a basic understanding of JavaScript to follow along. I consider myself a beginner at machine learning so we can learn together. For this page, if I click the button, it says this version of DeepLearn.js is 0.4.2. To run this yourself, just copy the code in the yellow box and paste it into any editor, save it with a dot HTML ending, and load the page in your browser. There we go. You now have your button, and if you click it, hopefully it works. You can expect the code of any web page by right-clicking and selecting View Source, but to make edits, you need to go back to your editor. Looking at the code, what we have is a typical script tag. Here I have called a specific version of DeepLearn.js. Delete the part after the at symbol and load the newest version. Yeah, it works. In the future, it might not, so I'll always check my code for deprecation by running the newest version of DeepLearn.js. A trick for finding the latest version of DeepLearn.js is just to type this URL in your browser. Unpack, so U-N-P-K-G dot com slash DeepLearn. And look at the URL, it'll switch to the latest version. Now here we have a button with a standard version of a function. Get used to the fancy get element by ID command. It's really powerful to update a web page with any information from your code. Notice the command dl.version, which calls the latest version of DeepLearn.js. Try it. The first part of the output is printed from the code, and the second part was taken from DeepLearn.js and outputs the version. Make sure at the bottom of my page you find out how to check for the latest version of DeepLearn.js. Note that DeepLearn.js will be more stable when it gets to version 1.0. Presently, graph and session is being replaced with eager mode, and I have not seen those changes yet. Now let's try the first web page, jj01-functions.html. I've got three main buttons of the typical async functions. 
Bit of history here, JavaScript used to need difficult jQuery and Ajax to do any fancy asynchronous work. Lately, JavaScript has made async really easy to use. Declare a function as async and then use the await keyword when the program needs to be updated after the present steps have been completed. Okay, first button. Typical JavaScript name function called myshow1 with the keyword async before it. Later in the code, we use the keyword await and the function keeps track of what needed to be done and does it when the application is ready. The function has a constant called matrix shape, which can help declare a 2 by 2 3 matrix. Next, it makes a matrix constant array 2D with a matrix shape and linear format for the numbers, then a vector array 1D of numbers. And some matrix math multiplying the matrix times the vector and printing the result, shape, and solution. More advanced stuff in other videos coming later. The second button function is a method I prefer in which everything is in line. No need to name the function, but it still has the function keyword that reminds beginners what we're working with. Same situation, it has an async keyword before the word function and a wait keyword whenever the program needs to update information when it becomes available. Third button method, mainly used by DeepLearn.js examples, has the keyword function replaced by an equal sign and greater than sign called an arrow function. Find this confusing for beginners and prefer to change it to the above technique that uses the function keyword. Important to be able to recognize it as it will come up in several examples. That's it. Things will get more complex. I'm just learning. Any suggestions will be appreciated. Hopefully I'll get lots of JavaScript machine learning examples on this webpage.